Hi, everyone. I am back to do another Tidy Tuesday in 30. I took a couple weeks off. Um, so I am first going to start my timer here. Bring that over here. I've got 30 minutes. So first things first, I am going to load some libraries. And I will for some reason this, and this is being really slow. <clears throat> then load in the data. And as always, I'm going to open up the data set over here and check out some variables. And at the same time, I really quickly look at this description and just see. So it looks like we've got a country, a city, line, start year, end year, RR, apparently railroad. Okay. The length of the proposed line, percent of line length completed, tunnel length of line completed. Okay, stations, source is where the data was sourced, cost in millions of local currency. The currency gives the currency type, the year gives the midpoint year of construction, purchasing power parity based on the midpoint of construction. Wow, there's a lot of variables. Uh, real cost in millions of USD, cost per kilometers in millions of USD and some references. Okay, so I do have a couple of goals today. Um, one is that I'm going to try to create a plot with a dark theme and because I don't usually use dark themes and two, um, I would like to do something besides just counting. Um, so first I just kind of want to, um, look through here a little bit. Um, let's see here. See if there's sort of anything. So, okay. So I think the cost variables are interesting. I'm actually sort of curious if, so I'm gonna do a little bit of playing in here. So let's see, what is the US? And I'm actually curious. So there was a big uh, light rail project here in the Twin Cities. Not exactly sure what it'll be under. Hmm. Okay, it's not in here. So I was curious if it was in here, how it might've compared, but not in here. So we won't do that one. So let's see here, actually, so it looks like in the US, actually not that many projects. Okay. So I'm also, I wanna read a little bit about this tunnel per variable again, make sure I fully understand what that is. Percent of line length completed. Tunnel length of line completed in kilometers. You can take this divided by length. Oh, okay. Um, so I think I don't know if this label is quite right. It seems like it's the percent that's a tunnel. Okay, so that might be sort of interesting um, to see if 
underground stuff is maybe more expensive. Okay. So, looks like a lot of these are underground. This is just the US ones though. So let's filter that back. Um, all right, well, um, I think what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna start by not counting things for perhaps the first time. And instead, I am going to jump right into some plots. And I'm going to use that. Oh, that tunnel per is an percent. Uh, hold on. Let's make sure. So that's stored as a character right now. So <clears throat> I think the first thing I'm going to do is mutate. No, actually, I don't. Yeah. Um, I'm going to create a numeric version of that. And that is going to be, let's see, tunnel divided by length. And let me just check that that, I think there's a way I can put this. I don't know how to do it. I think there's a way I can put this in a certain spot. Um, but to check this, I'm just gonna select for a second, tunnel per and tunnel per numeric. Okay, good. So I just want to take a quick peek and see um, I'm just going to make a little uh, oops histogram. I just want to see sort of what that distribution is. Oops, what did I do? Oh, hello, I forgot a pipe. Okay, so a lot of them are mostly fully underground or fully above ground and some other things in between. Okay. Maybe that'll be interesting. Um, maybe another interesting thing would be to just look at how long it is. I don't know a lot of, about transit, so I'm just well. Actually, let me let's um, let's do a couple other histograms just to get a sense. So here, let's see how many stations there are. Okay. So I'm thinking like more stations could mean it's more expensive because there's a sort of a lot of building in infrastructure around stations. Um, and then how about, um, I do want some cost stuff eventually. Um, we could see how long the project took. Um, how about the length? Um, 
That's actually not the length of the project. Oh my. So are some of these, some of those seem not, well, I shouldn't say they're wrong. It's possible, let's do this. So there are a couple really big values. I'm wondering if those are actually correct. Ah, there are some missing values. Okay, so I should, ah, I didn't see that. At the bottom, there must be an average and a median. Okay, so I think, let's see here. Maybe I'll just get rid of all the, I assume that it's only those two missing. Nope, oh, there are a few other missing ones. Oh, some summary statistics. Okie dokie. So I am going to get rid of that. So I'm going to get rid of all of these where the E is missing. Um, and actually, I think I'm going to do that back up here. So I'm going to drop an A. So anytime that E is missing. So let's see, before I had 544 observations. Okay, so that got rid of seven, which I think is right. Great. So let me actually <clears throat> run all of these again. Okay, that seems reasonable. So there are some long ones, but nothing like what I saw before. Okay. I don't think it really changed those two at all. Okay. And then let's just do one more for the cost. Sort of this, maybe this cost per kilometer in millions. Is that what that is? Yes, okay. So let's try that. Okay. All right, so now that we've got some of that information, I think it might be interesting to examine some relationships. So maybe it's most interesting to think about cost. Um, I'm gonna put cost on the y-axis for now. And, oops, on the x-axis, let's try um, I'm just going to compute this variable on the fly. I guess I should have put that in here, but I'll just stick it in there and um, Actually, well, sure, let's do that. And we'll just keep it simple for now. Okay, so there are clearly those huge outliers um, oops, did that in the reverse order. So I'm gonna log scale this just to see. Okay, that 
doesn't look interesting. <laughs> Let's just see. I'm guessing this one might be more interesting if we just look at length. And maybe I should have left that in. Okay, so somewhat positive relationship. Um, what else? Um, oh, let's look at number of stations. Okay, so number of stations probably is highly correlated. Let's just look at this with the length. Oh, oops, get rid of that. Yep, so these two things, which makes sense, the longer it is in general, the more stations that there are. Um, so let's get that cost back on there. And maybe I'll stick with stations and put scale y log 10. Oops. Okay. So I've succeeded in one goal. Although Um, let me look at this length one again. Okay. Yeah, those do look very similar. Okay, so what else might be interesting to sort of pull out of here? Um, I think, well, I think I want to do a couple of things. So <clears throat> first of all, I want to change this so that these are a lot smaller since there's so many data points. And I'm going to make the, this a little uh, lighter. Also going to check the time. So I only have 12 minutes. So I think what I might do is actually just stick with this plot. And I'm going to try to accomplish my other goal of using a dark background. So um, I want to make a couple changes here, put nicer labels. Um, another thing, interesting thing might be to add some color that somehow highlights these so maybe that's maybe we could color by tunnel per um we could also think about highlighting certain countries there are quite a few countries so i wouldn't want to just color by country but um seeing that I live in the US, perhaps it would be interesting to highlight that. So I'm gonna create a couple variables here. Um, so I'm gonna call one um, in US and I'm gonna say, um, oops, yeah, we'll just do uh, country is US. We'll just leave that. Uh, logical variable. And then I also, um, oh wait, did we already have a variable called tunnel? Oh, we do, but it's the length of the tunnel. So um, I'm going to make one called majority tunnel. And if that fraction is uh, bigger than, oops, 
uh, 0.5. So if more than half of it is a tunnel. Okay, and then I am going to try coloring by some of these things. So let's color by, let's see what NUS looks like. Okay, so here we see that the US projects uh, seem to cost quite a bit more than the other ones, even though they're shorter. So that's sort of interesting. Um, I don't use shape that often, but maybe I will try using shape for the majority tunnel. There's only two levels, so that's not too bad. Unfortunately, I can't really see a pattern. Let me try coloring by that instead. And then I might have to think of a way to call these things out. Um, So nothing in there looks, I mean, it's possible if I look at this in a different way, I would see this something, um, something more interesting, but how I have this, um, this variable isn't really that interesting to me. So I think I'm just gonna stick with that is US variable. Oops, what did I do wrong? I have a typo somewhere. Oh, in is in US. Oops. Okay. So let's try to um I think I'm going to do a bunch of things in the theme. I also want to change the labels. So um, the other thing I want to do is make sure this is dollars on the y axis. Um, so where is there we go. Um, label. I never remember how to do this. Scales. Um, no, I think this is probably not right, but we're going to try it. Nope. Wait, sort of right. <laughs> Um, so it did it. What did I do wrong? <sighs> Is that supposed to have that on there? Oh, I know. It's because I have these other things that I haven't used yet. Let's make sure. Wow, it's always awesome when I actually get that code right the first time. Okay, so um, I am going to um, get rid of the X and Y axis labels. And I'm going to put in a title that says um, Let's see here. Um, maybe I'll just call it cost in uh, kilometers per million USD 
by a number of stations. This is not the greatest title, but that's all right. Um, and then what I would like to do is in the color, I want to use, um, shoot. Um, let's see here. I want to use um, GG. Let's see, uh, GG plot add color to title. Why I always forget how to do this. I don't know. Okay, so I've come here only a million times. There we go, GG text. So let me add that up here. And this is not the only thing it's good for, for adding color to titles, but that's how I'm gonna remind myself what it is. And what I wanna say, well, first, um, let's do some work in the theme. So I'm also going to drop, let's see here. Um, so I want to um, drop my legend, um, which I am having a complete um, I don't know why I'm forgetting how to do this all of a sudden. There we go. Legend. Yikes, just I needed a cue there. Legend position equals none because I don't want a legend. And I should probably put a plus sign there. And I was in the middle of changing this title using GG theme. So, oops. I apparently have two minutes left to finish. So let's see what I can do here. This is what I wanna do. Um, I always have to copy and paste code. I always forget how to do this, so. Color red. Um, let's see. Oops, let's see here. No, oh, that's not the one I want. Oh. Let's see here. Ah, here we go. I think this is where I usually steal code from. Yep. Nope. Darn it. Oh, actually, this this will work just fine. I think I just need two of these. Oops. Okay, there we go. Copy that code. And maybe what I'll do is say title cost. I don't necessarily want to just call the US out on its own, um, but that's what I'm going to do for now since that's what I have time for. So maybe I will just say uh, something like, maybe I'll just keep it red. I like dark red. 
Um, oh, there goes my timer. So I'm going to take just a moment to finish this up. So I want to get rid of the legend position, uh, or sorry, I want to get rid of the legend. Um, let's see, I want to make plot background some, oh, um, that'll work. Some dark color. Let's see here. I can't do black, so um, maybe we'll grab this color. So I'm gonna use this little tool and copy that hex code. Remember to put a pound sign in front of it. And this should be element rect color equals pound. Okay, and then in here, I need to do a scale, oops, uh, color manual. And now I'm wondering if instead of dark red, maybe I should use dark yellow because this is gonna be a dark background. Um, and this should be, let's see here. I always forget how to do scale color manual, which is rather silly, but I think I do something like false equals um, I don't know, light gray. We'll find out if that's color. This is not going to be right. <laughs> I'm certain of that, but um, let's see how many mistakes I made. Yep. Equals. Okay. All right, I am gonna read real quick on scale color manual. Okay, let's jump to the examples. Values equal, oh, so maybe I should just Oh, okay. So I think I just need those in quotes, which I should have realized. How about now? Still don't like me. Ah, dark yellow is not a color. Darn it. Um, let's just use yellow for now and see if that works. Um, I don't think I'm gonna like that color, but Let's not, oh shoot, I know. I need to add something here too. Um, plot title equals element markdown. Okay. My plot background didn't work. Oh, darn it, I do that all the time. That should be fill, not color. Oh, and I'm also going to want the plot title to be um, How do I? Can I go in there? Oh, color. 
So the color should also be, I guess, white maybe. I don't know. We'll see how that, oh, I mean, I probably have to change all those. There's probably an easier way to do this. Um, axis. Um, not axis text. Yeah, that's going to have to also be white element text color equals white. Okay, man, it's hard to have dark backgrounds. I'm sure there's an easier way of having a dark background. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, okay. Well, um, we're going to just go with that. I'm going to get rid of these access lines and I'm going to be done for today. So I'm going to stop my video now and I hope you learned something. Uh, thank you for uh, being here. Bye.